What up fellow gamers, this is Peace Study, and today I will be showcasing my new mod for Rodina version 1.1.7 and I call it the Interior Glass Windows mod. Yes, you heard right, Interior Glass Windows. Finally, right? Anyways, let's get started. Now, the purpose of this video is to also show you how to properly place the window walls and the window glasses because it could be a little confusing at first so okay so everything that you will need is under entities here are all the glasses uh, you have 14 different colors to choose from and then you have the pillars and then at the very bottom you have the window walls okay now um, there are two uh, models for each window walls um, there's a regular bath, there's a regular wall, and there's an angle. And the purpose of the um, the angle ones are um, they're used for uh, 45 degree angles. Like if you want to make a corner that goes 45 degree angles, that's when you use a um, the angle model. But anyways, let me give you some examples. Okay, now to place the window walls properly, you have to um, Depending on what tile set you're placing it on, it could be one square wide or uh, two little square wides, or maybe you know three of these little rectangle square wides. So it depends, really depends on what tile set you're placing it on. So let's start with a let's go with a bridge uh, bridge window wall. Okay, so you know if you're placing it on a corridor, which is in this case it's a corridor it should be one square wide and make sure that it's in right in the center and then you know just um, pop it right like that you see how it's sort of in the center of the right in the middle of the line oh by the way each one of these models is only um, half of a wall like as you can see like one side is detailed and one side is just you know blank because it's only half of, half of a wall and the reason why I did this is so that you can mix it up like you can have one side be a bridge and then one side be like another kind of wall let's go with okay living area so and then you always want to rotate the wall so that the blank side is in the center so let's rotate this living area wall to the other side and then just move it and it should pop perfectly right next to each other like that see now you have one side a uh, living area wall and then one side is a bridge okay now now if you were to place it on a um, bathroom tile it should take up it should take up three of these little rectangular squares and just you know just make sure that it's, that's inside of those three squares and just place it right in the middle of the line like that and then get the uh, get your other model and then pop it in place like that now you can put it you can place the models like out of place like that and not like exactly on the middle like that but then um, it's not gonna look it's not gonna look pretty or symmetrical uh, relative to the floor so you know it's better to like place it exactly symmetrically on the um, on the design so that it looks better when uh, when you're um, done with it so anyways so that's the corridor in the bathroom and to place it on a living living area floor it should take up three of these three of these um, uh, rectangular squares like that okay like so and then on an on an engineering uh, tile set, it should take up two squares like that. And then lastly, on a bridge tile set, it should take up two of these little squares. Well, sort of. Um, it's, it has to like stick out on both sides of the square like that. Something like that. Okay, now to place the windows, 
you scroll up to where it says glass windows and then you know pick what color you want and as you can see there are plenty to choose from uh, let's go with the the very first one blue and then you know just just um, move the camera around so you're like above it so it's easier to see and then just you know place it right in the center and it should pop right in between the center like that and to make sure just hover hover the camera above it so that it's not the glass is not sticking on um, sticking out on either side okay now the other thing I want to show you is the um, the pillar corridor and the pillar pillar corridor angle these two pillars only work only work with the um, the window wall corridors only and I'll show you why so to place corridors we need two of them one for the inside and one for the outside and then let's use a uh, angle corridor one for the inside and one for the outside and then rotate it so one spacing on the inside and one spacing on the outside okay and and remember when you're using the angle model you have to rotate it at a 45 degree angle like that and you know sort of if you don't really know what what angle is at just you know just use the um, pattern on the on the on the floors to tell you so it should it should be perfectly diagonally like that then you know you then you know that it's exactly 45 degree angles okay now that should pop together like see sometimes it's sort of hard to maneuver the things around because um, the uh, pointer selection in the um, uh, in the editor is not that accurate sometimes so you just gotta like sort of click further away from the model to select it sometimes but that's no big problem uh, let me see so pop that in place and then you go up to the pillar so the one that just says pillar corridor that's for if you want to make a 90 degree turn and the one that says angle is for if you want to make a 45 degree turn and uh, corner so let's try the 90 degree first and I added a, um, a yellow a bright yellow marker uh, to show you uh, to tell you where to face the um, the inner corner of the pillar so the yellow marker should always be facing the inner corner okay so let's move that in place and then you want to move the camera so that you can see the base of the pillar and the base of the uh, window wall and this this ink this corner right here should pop into place with this corner and remember that the yellow marker should be on the inner corner like that so like that oh um about the angle models you can use those um, in 45 degree angles or in 90 degree angles but they're mostly used for uh, 45 degree angles but you can use them as a 90 degree angle wall so let's put Like this right here so that should pop so this like in this case is gonna be um it's gonna be clipping a little bit like that don't worry about that that's it's not really a big deal you can't really tell what well, you can really tell but it's not it doesn't really look that bad so just pop that in place like that and let's add some windows glass windows Let's go with uh, magenta and an orange. Okay, now when you are using corridor windows, it's sort of hard to see the opening because the um, the corridor walls are just, you know, they're like the biggest uh, uh, wall type. They're like thick, they're wide. So, so an easy way to tell where you're placing the windows when you're using corridor walls, walls is to look at the top and you should see the window clipping through the, th through the top and it should pop right in the middle right there so let's move this window in place like that see how it pops in the middle 
and then rotate this 90 degree angle and then pop it into this one and then just look and then again look at the top and it should be popping right in the middle like that okay now now let's go let's go check it out okay here's the first window that we made everything should be symmetrical one side is the living area one side is a bridge There's the corridor. So yeah, um Okay, what else was what else was I gonna show you? Okay, so um the most effective way to use this mod is to first um design the layout of your rooms and placing the doors where you want it to be with the default tile sets because we still have to use the default tile sets to be able to place doors on them so okay first you go to tile set pick you know the tile set that you want to create your rooms with and then you start you know designing the layout of your room and then you place the door where you want it to be And then you go back, once you're done creating the rooms, you then you go back and open the part of the wall where you want to add the window walls and the uh, glass windows too, like that. Okay. And then you go to entities and then scroll all the way down to window walls and then pick the matching wall. In this case, it's the living area. And then, remember you need one facing on the inside and one facing on the outside. Or facing towards the outside and one facing towards the inside. Like that. And then just pop them into place. And it, they should be clipping into the pillars like that. And then you can go up to glass windows, pick the color that you want, rotate it, and then just pop it in place. It's a little bright over here, let's take away some lights. Oh yeah. Okay. There you go. So yeah, so this would be my suggestion for uh, using this mod uh, effectively and successfully is to first design the the rooms with the with, with the tile sets, and then you know place the doors, and then you go back and open the part of the walls where you want to add the uh, window uh, glass windows to. So yeah, okay. Now let's say that this is the design of your layout, right? You're done designing the layout of the rooms, and you place the doors where you want it to be, and now now it's time for adding windows. Okay, so what you do is um, you look at the tile set that is on and then go to tile set and then this is engineering so you pick engineering and then you go back and then it should be on open and then you just open up the wall like that and then you go to entities and we're gonna delete these things as well and then you go to entities and then you scroll down all the way down to window walls and depending on what kind of uh, tile set it is, you pick the same thing. And since this is engineering, we pick uh, window wall engineering. And we're not going to pick angle because um, uh, we only use those if it's at a 45 degree angle. But we can use those as a 90 degree angle. But I I recommend just using them for um, 45 degree angles because it looks it just looks better. Um, but anyways, we're just going to use the normal window wall engineering. And then we're going to need four of these models because remember each one of these models are just half of a wall and we need one to be facing on the inside and one to be facing on the outside now ro rotate this so it's facing on the outside and one's on the inside okay just remember that the blank side goes in the center 
Okay, and then you just move it up to right there, and it should be clipping into the um, the pillars like that. Like that. that and like that now let's add some windows to it go scroll up to window walls I mean uh, glass windows and let's go with green and purple and then it should pop right in the middle just go uh, move the camera up to the top view and then just you know it should pop right in the center like that and you just double check on both sides so that the glass is not sticking out on either side and then this one like that okay let's go check it out there you go lovely okay now let's go um, try out a different kind of a wall okay let's so let's add windows to this area now as you can see, one side is a living area tile and the other side is a corridor tile. So first, we want to go back to tile sets and then pick living area and then you know go back and then it should be on open. Let's add windows to these two areas right here. So open this up and open this up. And just go back to tile set and then pick the other corridor the other tile set um, type and then just Put it in like that. Okay. Okay. Now we just uh, go back to tile set. Scroll all the way down to window wall, and then I believe it's uh, living area. And again, we're only use we're not going to be using the angle because we're not you know placing them at a 45 degree angle like this one right here. So just pick the one that does not have angle on it, and then we're going to need two of those for the uh, living area side then rotate it so that the pattern the, de the detailed side is on the living area room side and then the blank should be right in the center and then for the outside we need the corridor so we need two of those oh I accidentally moved the uh, bulkhead door okay and then you know just pop them and it should clip into the it should clip into the um to into the pillar a little bit like that so yeah you know just make sure that if you're using it on the you know uh, corridor tile set it should be one square wide so make sure it's in the you know right in the center of the square like that and then just move it along until it snaps right between the floors of the the corridor and the floor of the um, the living area and then do the same thing for this one now this one should take up three rectangular squares as I showed you earlier like that and it should pop into place like that and like that okay let's add some windows to it go scroll back up to glass windows Let's add sky blue and clear. Wait. So clear and sky blue. Okay, again, since we're using a um, uh, corridor, sort of, sort of hard to see the center. So um, uh, I guess we can use, we can move the camera so we can just see the, um, the living area side. And then just move it into place like that. Or you can just look at the top of the corridor and it should should pop right at the edge right there like so okay now let's add more windows over here so one side is bathroom and one side is corridor so we go back to tile set, pick the bathroom, and then open, then open this up like that, and then tile set, 
corridor and then fill this up. Now there's an opening there. Go back to entities, delete the sink, and go scroll all the way down to window wall and we want bathroom, two of them, because we open up two blocks and a corridor, two of them and then rotate it so that the bathroom is on the bathroom side and the corridor is on the corridor side then you move them in place again just look at the pattern of the floor to help you um, uh, center them like that and like that this one oh. like that and like that oh too much like that perfect okay let's add some windows to those let's give them clear windows so you guys can see how the clear windows look like Again, if you can't see the um, where you're placing it, just look at the top of the corridor and it should pop, clip through the top like that. Like that. Okay, and um, yeah, I think, I think you should get the idea of how to place them by now. Um, so, anyways, um, my suggestion for the most effective way to use this mod is to uh, first uh, design the layout of your rooms and you know place the doors where you want them because we still need um, we still need the original default tile sets to be able to place the doors so first design up the layout of your room and then place the doors and then you go back and open up just open up the part of the walls where you want to add windows like how I've been showing you so that would be the most uh, best and effective way to use this mod now as you can see in some spots um, the the pillar of the corridor actually clips through to the other side now this is only a problem with the corridor and you know that's game side that's you know I, I there's nothing I can do about that it just automatically does that by itself um, maybe in a future version of this mod I'll add a new pillar where one side is corridor and then the other side is like you know the other tile sets but for now you're just gonna have to live with this which isn't really that bad um, so yeah I think that's about it for the video and for the tutorial I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this mod you know it's more customizations for your ship which is always a plus and thank you for watching this video this is P-Study until the next episode, chill out.